Hello, so this is a quick tutorial for showing how to make an animated GIF into a physical flipbook using Laidout. So I'm going to take this GIF here and produce a flipbook. How do we do that? So this is Laidout's opening screen. I'm going to first change the imposition to a booklet. And this is the single page thing, so I want a booklet instead. So here's the signature editor. Um, I happen to know the aspect ratio of the animated GIF is 2 by 1 that I'm going to use, so I'm going to make the final size 4 inches by 2 inches. Um, I'm going to make it so I'm going to print 5 per page. Then I'll drag this down. It gives you the final size, so that's closer. Make this closer to 2. I'm going to drag these in to make it more like 4. And okay, so that's approximately two by four, close enough, so I'm going to do that. Now I'm going to import a whole bunch of images thanks to a new importer based on graphics magic. Um, I can import parts of animated GIFs pretty easily, so I'm going to select that. That's my GIF. I'm going to scale up the pages to fit on the page. I'm going to start at page zero where things get dumped into. Make sure the expand animated GIFs is on, then I'm going to import, then it thinks about it and does stuff, I guess, and does stuff, hopefully, and okay, there it is. And then if I look at the stuff that I'm going to print out, the paper spreads, um, it's mostly good. These X's mean that there's some pages, like there were not enough frames in the GIF to fill, so I'm going to fill those. How do we do that? Uh, let's go to the page view. And that's what a spread looks like when you're flipping through it. Probably at the ends, there were some... So there's three pages I need to fill. Uh, another way to see is look at the overall spread manager. Um, these light gray ones are unfilled pages, so I'm going to select the last page and then ins insert a few pages after that. Now I'm going to fill those pages. Uh, let's see, so to do that I'm just going to repeat the final frame, so I'm going to drag that, press space to duplicate, drag it into Limbo so you can go to other spreads. Now I'm going to need three of these, so there's three, I'm going to put these two here, then zoom in and align approximately. Good enough, and the next one is here, I'm going to make this down into that page. Align that. So now if we go back to our, our paper spreads uh, around the edges, those should be all filled. That looks good. So here's our book that we're going to print out now. So I'm going to export as PDF. I usually print from something else because Laidout doesn't really have a decent uh, like direct-to-printer feature. Uh, it's assumed that there's other stuff you want to do to it usually, and I usually do. So in this case, uh, I'm going to use events, so printing out to a PDF, export all with paper spreads, hit export, and then it's going to go. All right, so it's exported, and now let's go take a look at events and see what that looks like. Okay, so here's my events looking at um, the pages, looking at the PDF, so that looks as expected, so now I'm just going to print that to my printer and then see what comes out. And a bunch of papers have come out, so now what needs to be done is just to cut everything out, um, assemble them, glue them together, put a nice little edging on it, try not to get glue all over the place, and there you have it.